Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. Welcome back to the rally. Laura Britt alongside two-time Super Bowl champ Bryant McFadden. And we're going to look ahead to week eight in the NFL. BMAC, which team cannot afford to lose this week? Well, for me, it's the Atlanta Falcons, and here's why. They're playing against a team they should be able to take care of their business against in the New York Jets. But you look at the Atlanta Falcons' history so far in 2017, they have yet to beat a team from the AFC East. So that has been an issue for them. And if you look at outside of the New York Jets ball game that will be played in New York, they have a very, very difficult schedule coming up. So if you're trying to stay within reach of the New Orleans Saints in your division, the Carolina Panthers in their division, you need to win this ball game because the next five ball games you see there in your graphic, the Panthers, the Cowboys, the Seahawks, the Buccaneers, the Vikings, you travel to Carolina, you travel to Seattle, that's, it's going to be extremely difficult. Yeah. So I think they need to really factor in and key play sound football, you know, attention to details as far as the little things and get a much needed win because if they lose this ball game, well, that would be four straight losses. And seeing what they have in store for the future, it could be difficult as far as the playoffs. This is a team that's coming off of a Super Bowl appearance. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised to see them have these these losses you know I'm not, consecutively? I, I, yeah, because the majority of these losses outside of New England, they were up. They were up big at home against Buffalo. They were up big at home against the Dolphins. And they, they're they having issues finishing the drills. And, and, of course, we saw this in the Super Bowl, and I felt like they were far removed from that, losing that that ball game, uh, being up 20-plus 20 20, uh, plus points in the second half. So clearly that has really followed them leading into 2017. So I think not having the same OC, Kyle Shanahan, he went on to be the head coach in San Francisco. Steve Sarkeesian is the new OC, a guy that has never called plays in the NFL. It's going to be difficult. So he's filling some big shoes, but hopefully he can find a way to right his wrongs and get the best from his players offensively. All right, BMAC has weighed in. We want you guys to weigh in. Use the hashtag, the rally, and let us know which team you think cannot afford to lose this week in NFL action.